And uh, for my auto crafting system, it was all done in IC2 ores when I had the red power ores enabled. <clears throat> um, so I'd have to redo my entire auto crafting system, and this just seemed easier. Uh, actually, let me get a ring of arcane real quick so I can fly around. Uh, there. Alright. Um, so this is pretty much it. Oh yeah. Um, also I had a refined iron system. Uh, I did have this coming off my red matter furnace, but this is just, I'll just do it on its own to make this a bit easier to see. Uh, uh, use a dark matter furnace. And then a crafting pipe. And what I did, is I put that up there, I think it was on top, I'm pretty sure. Then, if I input one iron ingot, uh, I will get out a refined iron. So I'll put down another relay and energy collector, and then put that in there. See, refined iron. And there we go. Simple as that. Uh, now if I put a requester pipe on here, um, you know, here I'll just show you the whole system. Iron, iron ore, put all that in there, it should go back, there it goes, okay. Now, it's not going its fastest right now, because the, uh, Maestrator hasn't spun up yet, but once this is 10,000, this is just boom, 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 boom. Um, I don't know why these aren't pulling this. Oh, side, I think. There we go. The uh, extractor modules have to be set to the side. Um, right, so then these will just get pulled out. I think same with this. This has to be set to side. Um, you know, I can't remember how I did this. Oh, wait, this has no route. Alright, that's right. Okay. Um, iron needs a route. So, iron ingot. Let's put this in here. So, polymorphic. And provider one iron per stack Boom. there there we go and then we'll start getting iron and then this will also be a default route um, let's go find that Oh, wait, that's right. That's a module. Uh, so it's just item sync, and then that goes in there, and default route, yes. So even if you didn't have this set for iron, it would also, the iron would just flow right into the ender chest. Um, okay, so let's say I want to make some refined iron. So, refined iron, I'll get 10 of them. There you go. It'll start pulling it out. It'll drop them right into this furnace and start pulling it out. This is all from the crafting pipe. That's just dropping it right on me. These are still pulling out the uh, iron ingots. So yeah, this is a really really easy system to set up. Um, it's probably a bit cheaper with red power 2 but I really like using logistics types. I think they have more functionality. Um, so I think this is all you need for a system. Oh, um, for a crafting system. I'll just show you that real quick. So I had a huge wall. Uh, if you saw my um, video, it was like a massive wall of auto crafting tables. Um, so I'll just show you how I did that real quick. So in crafting pipes and auto crafting tables, and one thing I usually always start out with is wood. So let's get some wood. Whoops, told wood wrong. Let's get some wood. Um, now the really cool thing about logistics pipes 
is if you just hit import and it's on auto crafting table it'll just pull the recipe right out so I need sticks now that's one each right import and then let's make some like wooden gears or something like that that's what you just start out with because I hate making gears <clears throat> and there you go now you can make gears it's really that easy I mean, it's just it's crazy these things are so useful there you go 10 gears now come out and that was fast so yeah um always keep track of what are in your auto crafting tables uh i messed up a few times and had like one over here making uh machine blocks and one up top making machine blocks and they conflicted with each other um because it will only ask for nine refined iron and like four of them would go to the first one and five of them would go to the other one um and i can never figure out why i wasn't getting my machine block out um just keep in mind uh what you have in your auto crafting system before you put a new new uh, piece onto it <clears throat> sorry i sort of a cold right now um but yeah this should pretty much be it i'm trying to remember um oh i also i had a tree farm so uh, pretty, um, i can't remember how to spell it right there so I add a logger and a arbor. There we go. And these were out somewhere like way over here. They were creating wood. And then what I did was I just had the piping up here for it. Uh, so saplings come on the top. Um, and for that you want an advanced insertion pipe right there uh i don't believe this has a gooey no um and then wood comes out the side so this would fill it up with saplings and then the rest of them would uh come down into here and then um, <clears throat> I also had a, I can't remember exactly how to set this up, so saplings will go into there, and then I had a supplier pipe, uh, over here, filling it with hummus, or humus, whatever you want to say, um, so yeah, there you go, and then this pipe, Came out here. This one over here. And this one. Oh, lag. Right there. So, and then I just had this running to my ender chest. And the great thing about that is it will automatically get sorted right into my system. There you go. Uh, let's go see how much wood I have right now, and I'll put a stack into the one over there, and you'll see that. So let's just take, leave one in there. Put all my wood in there. See? It's gone. It is now in here. That's how I had my arboretum all the way over there, and it would go right into my, um, crafting and sorting system. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you have any questions or have any uh, comments, leave them in the uh, comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you soon. Right, thanks guys. Bye.